day. We serve a responsible God. How many of us know that? We serve a responsible God. Whatever he gives birth to, he takes care of it. When God gives birth to something, he takes care of it. Every time when God does something, he will first make you know, a conducive uh, presence or, or atmosphere for what he is about to give birth to. Because he is a responsible God. That's why he never created man before the garden. He created the garden first and then he put man in the garden. Because he is a responsible God. Amen. So can you just say God is a responsible God. So now the benefits of responsibility, number one. You know, responsibility produces desired results. So we will first talk about benefits and then we'll go into the message. All right. So responsibility produces desired results. Responsibility produces desired results. Responsibility commands increase and multiplication. Responsibility commands increase and multiplication. Responsibility commands increase and multiplication. Responsibility makes one stand out. Makes one to stand out. Responsibility makes one to stand out. Responsibility increases one's capacity for more. Responsibility increases capacity for more. That's what responsibility does. So those are some of the respons uh, some, those are some of benefits of responsibility. Responsibility eliminates excuses and blame. Responsibility eliminates excuses and the blame. Responsibility, that is number six, attracts favor. Responsibility attracts favor. Number seven, responsibility weakens resistance. Responsibility weakens resistance. In this life, you can never go opposed. You will you will be opposed, whether you like it or not. But responsibility, we will weaken that opposition. Responsibility reveals opportunity. Responsibility reveals opportunity. Responsibility is the key to possibility. Responsibility makes possibility possible. Responsibility brings resources. Brings resources. Responsibility brings resources. Responsibility opens doors to authority. Opens doors to authority. It's only responsibility that will usher you in authority. Responsibility. Responsibility will open a door to authority. Hallelujah. So those are 11 benefits of responsibility. Let us go to Matthew 20, 25 verse 14. About the talents. Matthew 25 verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven, and I'll be very fast. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling. Verse 19. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came. And he settled accounts with them. And did what? Settled accounts with them. In other words, he made them accountable. He called the three and said, now... I gave you according to your ability. I want to see how you responded to your ability. Are we together? Okay. I want to see how you responded to your ability. Okay. So after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. Now, how many of us know that Jesus one day will be here? 
Jesus one day will come. One day we are going to hear the trumpet. Now, verse 20. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you have delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. Hallelujah. So the, the one that received five presented to the master, I have gained five more. In other words, I have multiplied that which you gave me. Hallelujah. Now, what is responsibility? My wife gave a very, very classic uh, a definition of the responsibility. Okay, now, responsibility is the state or fact of having a duty. I just got this from, uh, from one of these uh, dictionaries to deal with something or having control over. It is actually, you know, having or exercising authority over what you have been given. That's what responsibility is. You exercise authority over what has been entrusted in your care. In other words, you, you multiply what has been given to you. Amen. So now listen. And then I also got another uh, definition of a responsibility. is the social force that binds you to the causes of action demanded by that force. So the social force that binds you and I to the causes of action demanded by that force. So now, if something has been put in my hands, whatever gave me that thing will come and put pressure on my life away together and that is to make me accountable so i can never go you know squat free if i have been given something so you and i have been given life do, do we know that the reason why i am here is because there is a giver of life who gave me life and i am al and i am alive today and one day i'm going to give an account for the oxygen that I am breathing in and out or breathing in. Okay, now, I, I just want to read some of the quotes I got from the net or, or from the internet. Praise God, amen. Concerning responsibility. <clears throat> now, this, this quote says, and I quote, by Jim Rohn. He says, you must take personal responsibility you cannot change the circumstances the seasons or the wind but you can change yourself Amen. that is the responsibility and um, we are going to look at that uh, you know from the biblical point of view so now you must take personal responsibility you and i cannot change certain circumstances did, did we know that you can never change your neighbor you can never change your uncle you can never change your husband or your wife. But you have a responsibility to change yourself. I have a responsibility to change myself. I work together. That's why you and I, no one can ever get to worship on your behalf. That is the saddest thing. I, ju I just wish that there was somebody that could worship on my behalf. You know, nobody can grow spiritually on your behalf. It is your personal responsibility. I work together. So there are certain things that nobody can ever get to do on your behalf or for you. Okay? And this another one. Okay, now, 99% of all failures come from people who have a habit of making excuses. And this was George Washington. Okay? So he said, 99% of all failures come from people who have a habit of making excuses. In this world, if you want to find excuses, you'll find plenty of them. And the moment you go into the habit of giving excuses, you are going into the arena of irresponsibility. And we're together. And, you know, uh, Adam blamed who? Blamed his wife. And then the wife blamed the snake. Do you remember that incident? Okay. And the, the snake had no one to blame. All right. So excuses are as odd as Adam. All right, there is another quote here by Wayne Dyer. 
all blame is a waste of time all blame is is a waste of time all blame is a waste of time okay all blame is a waste of time no matter how much fault you find with another and regardless of how much you blame him it will not change you yeah yes it will not change you okay so now if i go into fault finding listen to me that can never get to help me at all it can never change me at all so now my responsibility is on working on my life working on my life okay now the number the the, the other uh, court I got I got from the internet most people do not really want freedom most people do not really want freedom because freedom involves responsibility okay now when we talk about freedom listen sense when we talk about freedom freedom comes with responsibility and most people are frightened of responsibility we do not want responsibility that's why we get to go back into bondage again are we together because you know bondage feels like there is someone who's responsible over my life there is someone that i can blame that's why people say i did not do it i was tempted we together so every one of us is responsible over his life or her uh, life hallelujah Amen. hallelujah now look at the word responsibility okay it is made up of two words response and ability so the god has given us the, abil the ability to choose choose ye today choose what life okay so we have been given the ability to choose that's why you know you and i can never get to blame god for any single thing because we are free moral beings god has given us the ability to choose we choose what we should eat we choose what we should dress we choose our destiny we choose our future did we know that we choose our tomorrow we choose whom we should serve everything in this life is a choice we choose so god has given us the ability to choose god has given us the ability to choose therefore we can never blame on circumstances conditions or any other thing or my uncle whosoever now behavior is a product of one's own conscience choice behavior when someone is behaving in a certain way they have consciously decided to behave in such a way based on values they have chosen to impress rather than a product of their condition based on feelings okay that was stephen covey all right now responsibility is the greatest freedom god ever gave to mankind responsibility is the greatest freedom so god god gave man you know the freedom of responsibility so responsibility is the greatest freedom god ever gave to mankind the ability to choose the ability to choose how to respond to god the creator and his creation and not some responsibility and that one i coined it myself now responsibility entails freedom the freedom championed by a passion to be productive and accountable to one master and this is god and i coined that one so if you ever go and quote it somewhere you should give credit to me okay so responsibility entails the freedom now when god gives me responsibility it frees me to choose it frees me to do what i want but there will be accountability Amen. hello 
there will be a, it frees me responsibility frees me but yet there will be accountability are we together saints yes. hallelujah now listen now when we talk about freedom we are talking about liberty now liberty is liberty must be guarded by laws how many of us know that Liberty must be guarded by laws or values. Any freedom that is void of laws or values is dangerous. Responsibility is the custodian of liberty. Responsibility is the custodian of liberty. Now listen, when God gives us the responsibility, when God says, you know, this is what you should do, all right, then he gives us the values to control, or, you know, it's like he comes and draws a circle around our lives. And, and he says, I have given you responsibility, but yet you should not cross that line. So then it is up to me to choose to cross or to remain in that circle. All right. Now, liberty without limits is captivity in disguise. Liberty without limits is captivity in disguise. Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. Let us read Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. Galatians chapter 5 verse 13. The Bible says, For you, brethren, have been called to live, but we have been called to what? Called to freedom. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. So liberty should be in the confines of godly values. Are we well sense? Every lawless man is a lifeless man. My wife mentioned it we didn't change notes okay <clears throat> all right you are free to do what you want did you know that you are free to do what you want but there will be consequences you will be held accountable yes. you are at liberty to do what is right but not what is but not what you like that is response that's the difference responsibility is to be at liberty to do what is right not what I like did you hear that? Responsibility is simply to do what is right, not what I like. Now, how many of us like cock? Cock is good, it, especially when it's, it's now summer. But it is not good for your health. There are things we like. There are things we like. We like them. If I get to ask each one of us here what we like, we may discover that some of those things we like are against God. But we like them. Are we together? Okay. So we like them. All right. So now there are things that you and I like. They might appear good, but they are against God's standards. Are we together? Then we should get to find what is right because yeah. not everything i like god likes so responsibility is to get to discover or get to know what is right and get to do them or exalt them above my likes that is responsibility now, spirituality without responsibility is carnality. Now, when we talk about carnality, listen to me. When we talk about carnality, it's just being irresponsible when it comes to matters of the spirit.
So spirituality without responsibility is carnality. Responsibility gives value to spirituality. Responsibility gives value to spirituality. We are living in a time when responsibility has been thrown out of the window. Yes. Responsibility has been thrown out of the window. We have been given a verse. Do what you want. How many of us have ever seen that verse? They sing about it. Do what you want. It is a satanic verse. Alistair Crowley came with that verse. You know Alistair Crowley? You don't know Alistair Crowley? Okay. He's the one that came up with a satanic Bible. And that verse is the most it's like, you know, John 3.16 in the satanic world. Do what you want. All right. Okay. So now, it is in fact informing people that be irresponsible. Just do what no matter. Whoever gets ahead, just do it. As long as you are happy. That's what we have been informed. As long as you are happy, just do it. Are we together? Okay. Just do it. All right. Now, um, the world has been informed to be happy. Yeah. Our Lord, are we together? That is to make me happy regardless who gets hurt. I don't care who gets hurt. Okay? As long as I am happy. It's about my happiness. Are we together? That's why, you know, when... Uh, a girl is getting, you know, wants to get married and goes to the parents and the parent says, no, you cannot marry that one. And the girl will say, no, it's about my happiness. And we, and we together. Then the parents will explain, look here, that one is a thief. I say, no, I don't care, but I love him. Are we together, saints? So it's about happiness. That is overlooking consequences. Overlooking consequences. Now, responsibility is actually, you know, listen to me. Responsibility is to look at what is right. What does the word of God say? Okay. So, we have to get to responsibility. Now, areas one should be responsible in. And we'll, we'll, we'll look at this sometime this, this month. Okay. Number one, relationship with God. Number two, relationship with others. Number three, relationship with your work. Number four, relationship with money. Number five, relationship with God's appointment. Okay, so these are areas we have to be responsible in, in order to be effective and to be, you know, uh, People that God will one day say, well done, good and faithful servant. 